Hey guys, I'm Brandon. I'm here with your Y Live stretching tips that you can do at home. First one we're gonna focus on. We have your shoulders, we have your chest, and we have your back. I'm gonna show you three different stretches. First one, we're gonna work on those shoulders. What I'm gonna have you do is lay down on your side to get started. So, for your knees, make sure your knees are at a 90 degree angle and you're pulling your knees up towards your chest. From here, taking that lower arm, I want you to Bring it up where your elbow is closer to your ear and you're gonna make a 90 degree angle with your elbow. From here, I'm gonna take my opposite hand, place it on the back side of the hand that's on the floor. From there, slowly, nice and controlled, lower it towards the floor. Only go as low as your shoulders are going to allow. Nice and controlled as you go down towards the floor. I usually recommend doing about four to six on one side and then four to six on the other. As you've lowered towards the floor, you can also do opposite, open up everything, give your rotator cuff a nice little bit of mobility as you get everything started. So four to six towards the front, four to six towards the back, and then switch to the other side. Next one we're gonna focus on is your chest, okay? So for your chest, what I want you to do, bring your knees up towards your chest, 90 degree angle in your legs, 90 degree angle in your hips. From here, you're gonna stack your shoulders. When you stack your shoulders, you're gonna have one shoulder directly over top of the other. From here, you're gonna clap your hands together, you're gonna to use this top arm, and you're gonna make a rainbow over top of your head. So, you're gonna take your top arm, trying to keep your hand in contact with the floor, nice and controlled, bring it all the way around. Trying to keep your knees on the floor as you slowly bring your hand to round your backside. As you get to the small of your back, what I want you to do is point your palm away from you and restack your shoulders. So, right shoulder over top of my left. From here, you're gonna go back around the same way you came from. So nice and controlled, open up your chest, palm facing towards the ceiling until it gets just above your head and then your palm is gonna slowly rotate towards the floor. So, nice and controlled, open everything up, get that chest nice and wide. Restack your shoulders at the bottom and then come right back around. For those of us with shoulder issues, if you feel uncomfortable going overhead, what I want you to do is take your shoulders and open them up like a bow and arrow. So from here, slowly slide your fingertips up your arm, across your chest, open up your entire upper body, and then bring them back into the middle. So nice and controlled, slowly slide up your arm over top and then right back to the other side. Usually recommend about four to six on one side. When you're done, four to six using the opposite shoulder. The last one, we're gonna work on your lats. Okay, that's this part underneath your shoulder blade. From here, what I want you to do is start with your knees a little bit wider than your shoulders and trying to bring your feet a little bit closer together. From here, stabilize with one arm. It doesn't matter which one it is because we're gonna do both. Palm is gonna go up towards the ceiling. As I push my hand away, I'm gonna try to sink my hips behind. So, starting with my shoulders over my wrists and my hips over top of my knees, what I want you to focus on is as I slowly extend my hand out in front, I want you to try to push your hips behind you and then bring it right back into the middle. So, big stretch. Try to get your body super, super, super long. Try to get your fingertips as far away from your feet as you possibly can and come right back into the middle. Four to six on one side, then switch. Palm up towards the ceiling, big, big, big stretch. And then come back into the middle, stretching out those lats. That's your stretching tips of the day. Make sure you go to ymcarichmond.org for more stretching tips and details, and then make sure you post your comments below. Let's see how everybody does. Thanks and have a good one.